how y'all doing to be here today I'm coming at you with a camping guide for reserve now reserve has plenty of spots to camp up top and down below so we're going to be mainly focusing on ones for shooter board in heaven and in those real high traffic areas that'll basically guarantee you at least one kill every raid now to try to keep this video organized and maybe for some people they're only interested in the upper parts for shooter board in heaven or they only want to know the tunnels i'm gonna go ahead and separate those so the first half of this video we're going to be focusing on the upper part of reserve and the second half will be all tunnel now i did all these spots with 35 strength but if you do need a little help, use something like an L1 or Adrenaline. Personally, I like the L1 because it's pretty cheap off the flea and it gives you a real nice strength boost. If any of these spots end up helping you out, please consider hitting that like, hitting that subscribe button. I come out with new videos every Friday and I also stream over on Twitch. Let's get started. All right, to start this off, we're actually going to be going off the map. So go over here by the two bunkers by Hermetic Door. There's this little hole in the fence. You see that tank. Now what you have to do, get your stamina all nice and full. You're gonna sprint and jump towards that tank so that you don't set off any mines. Now once you're to the tank, you are safe to kind of go around it. You won't get blown up, so you can kind of go behind and save up your stamina again. And then we'll be aiming for this tree with the two bushes in front of it. Once you have full stamina, same thing, sprint and jump towards that tree. Once you get past this tree, you're free and clear. You can go ahead and sit in any of these bushes and go ahead and scope out the top of those bunkers and even up the dome. Now, this place does have a little bit of a limited view, but there's going to be very few people to even know to look out here once you start shooting at them. And once you're ready to go back, kind of find that tree. Get your stamina all nice and full. Start running. Once you hit the tree, start jumping. Again, aim for the tank. You can go behind it for cover once you're there. So you can save your stamina. Once you're all nice and full, kind of wrap around to the front corner of it. Same thing. Run and jump until you're inside the fence. Next, we're over here on top of White Knight. Now, there's two different ways you can get up here. I like this way better. You can jump on this box, jump on this metal. And then you can get right on top of this tent. Now you are a little exposed when you're up here, but not too many people should think to even look for you up here. You have a pretty good view once you are up here. Dome, this whole parking lot area, even around over by K buildings, train station. Next, we're over on top of Black Knight now. Come to the side towards King. You can jump on this ledge and come up here, jump on these sandbags. And go up on top of this tarp. Once you go up to this section, you kind of have two options. First, you can go underneath this tarp and then you're a little concealed and you can see out to a decent bit of the map. But if you want to have a little bit of a better view, you can actually get on top of the next set of sandbags and get on top of this tarp. Now the thing that's nice about up here, other than having a better view than below, is you have these trees that kind of block dome from you, so you don't have to worry as much about being sniped from up there. It's not too big about these towers, but this one in particular, I've had really good luck with getting shooter borns. Spawn over in this field. You can kind of come up to the top and if you get up here quick enough you can catch the guys coming from the mark room over in this corner also if you want to you have the option to lay down you can see all the way over to those bunkers on the far side as well as if you come over here you can lay down and kind of right hand lean and have a really good shot up to anyone up at dome Next, over here at the train station, you get on top of the roof, you go all the way down to the end where there's a dead scav, come inside the building. Once you're inside, you're able to go across these little like cranes, to go across the ceiling, and get a bunch of different angles to people out and about. Cool 
including if you'd like to you can keep going all the way through to the other side and you're able to get onto the opposite side roof next we're over kind of by scavlands and there's this tower that you can go up on once you get to the top you can actually side jump and get on top of these little metal shieldings and then once you're up here you can actually jump on top of the entire tower you have a really good view of a lot of different areas in the map when you're up here you are a little exposed but as long as you see them before they see you, you should be solid next we're up by dome now this spot in particular i've had real good luck with with shooterborn heavens come up here find a good spot to lay down on this rock you have a pretty good range of motion you can see down into this little building you can see up to the dome you can see down to the parking lot and over to like black bishop with the drop down room next or right next to where we just were now if you run and jump you can get on top of this van and a little further you can get on top of this awning and then on top of these buildings with the safes in them this is kind of one of those areas that people aren't expecting to see anybody so not so much long range but you can get anybody that's coming up to dome to loot or whatnot even more you can jump across here and then you can kind of peek back to the extract if you think someone may be going there Also on top of dome, obviously you can go up in the dome, but if you really want to just extract camp, come to the side, you drop right down here, then you more than likely will break a leg. But once you're here, you have a perfect view right at the extract. Next we're on top of white pond. If you go to the tent, you can jump up behind the shielding walk down you have a perfect view to the rocks I showed you and up to the dome furthermore on top of white pond you go towards the side towards black pond you can jump on these sandbags jump on this door and then jump right on top of this little roof over here lay down you have a pretty good view of this entire area Now another spot very similar but over on black pond you can jump on those sandbags jump on this tarp and then get on top of this little roof and lay down in this corner but personally i like this one a little bit better i feel like more of your threat is in front of you so you don't have to worry about being shot in the back from dome for example next what kind of a video would it be in mind if i didn't show you at least one tree so here we're on top of king building if you come down towards the knights, you'll see this tree right here. Now, this takes a little bit of practice, but if you kind of walk and just time your jump right, jump out and land right on top of this tree. Now, if you do miss this, there's a very good chance you'll just die, so I would advise practicing. But once you're in here, you make little adjustments, so you can actually make it so your gun can full swing out without getting stuck in the tree, so you can hit everything that you can see. Now when you're ready to get down out of here, you just go ahead and aim for this tent, and then jump off. Ugh. Next we're in like a little bunk room, kind of in between the night buildings. You get in here, go over to this one corner, you can jump on this little radiator, jump up on the bunk, and get propped up in this corner. It's not long range shooting, but this place is pretty highly trafficked. Next, we're inside of King. We go into the gymnasium. We can go to this side along the tent, get on top of these boxes, jump right on top of the tent. Now, once you're up here, you have a couple options. You can sit right here, kind of come to this other side and look for people that are going through. Or if you like, you can actually jump across and then kind of sit on this side over here, lay down, and then you can see anybody coming through this door as in coming in from the outside or going through the gym. To go down below 
Now, speaking of down below, once you're down below King, this little common area here, if you jump on top of this barrel, you can jump on top of the generator, aim right across. There's like that fuse box, little run jump. You can sit on that and then get right on top of this hermetic door and camp this whole little junction right here. Pretty highly trafficked. Good spot to get grenade kills if you need to. Now we're down a little further going towards D2. You have this railing right here. You get a little jump up there. And you can jump on top of this fuse box. Once you're up here, if you'd like to, you can shoot out that light right across the way. Kind of make it a little darker so you burn the shadows. But you can just hold this little intersection. Furthermore, if you want a different spot or if you have a buddy, they can jump right up on this door. Again, obviously shoot out that light. You can even crouch down and shoot out the light down the hallway to help you a little bit more. Now this is going towards D2, the little first doorway that you have to go to once you go down those stairs. You can go behind this door, crouch down, and kind of peek out and wait for people to open that door. But you are left hand peeking, so it's not necessarily the best move. What I would suggest is coming up here and sitting behind this door. Once they go through and they open it, especially if you have like your gun tucked down a little bit, there's a good chance they might just walk right past you. Once you see that they're kind of further out, you go ahead and close the door yourself and then just shoot them in the back. Next, we're in this almost underground boat looking area. Go up towards the top, jump on the railing, and then you can jump right across onto this wood scaffolding. As always, once you're up here, if you would like, you can go ahead and shoot out the light to your left. Kind of you know, give you a little more shadow cover, but you can sit right here and usually not too many people aim up in this area. Also, if you want, down below, there's a spool. You can lay down kind of in the shadow and have a decent look right down towards the doorway. Now, this spot does limit your ability to aim up a little bit. So, if they end up do getting a little too close to you and you can't kill them before, you don't get a good shot and you kind of hold your shot, you are able to crouch and then take them out. Next, we're all the way down here at D2. Now, if you're able to get on top of this railing, you can actually sit right here, crouch down, lean out a little bit, and then shoot them as they come in. Unless they're being real attentive, they may not look up. They may just look to see if they can see your feet and send you on top of the railing. They will not be able to see your feet. Next, this is at the bottom of the stairs coming down from Dome. If you get right to like this first platform before actually hitting the bottom, you'll see these two pipes. You can actually jump out onto the railing and then kind of finagle yourself down you fall down on top of this pipe down here a good chance you'll break a leg or something but once you get yourself healed up you have a good view of people coming down or possibly going up as well as people coming from this now you can get down on those two pipes but the people coming from that tunnel may see your feet and then we have the same stairwell but at the very top Coming from dome, you can jump over, stand on this little ledge. Now you do have to watch out because if you're on this little ledge and you step out a little too far, you will fall and you'll die. But as long as you don't fall, you can see people coming from below or people that pass you are going down, as well as you have a pretty good look of people coming from or going to dome. Well, that's it. I hope this helps. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you learned anything, maybe consider hitting that like, hitting that subscribe button. If there's any spots that I missed that you'd like to share, be sure to comment them down below. Get enough of them, maybe I'll make a part two to reserve. We all know there's plenty of spots to camp here. So, until then, catch you guys next time.